So now here is the always on display. And then here is your lock screen. So when you go from one to the other, with this one, it's not too bad because it's completely changing the images. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you're able to get your always on display and your lock screen working together and having them work seamlessly and looking good with some animations as well as some additional features and settings that you're able to change when it comes down to the always on display as well as the lock screen. Now, first off, let me turn off these two things. You can see that we were able to see this on the now bar on the always on display as well as the lock screen. And this right here, this is just one example of what you're able to do when it comes down to your always on display and lock screen where they're just kind of working together. There's another one I didn't show you just yet, but we'll get to that here in just a second. Let me show you how all of this right here is set up first. Now, what you wanna do is head right over into your settings. As you scroll on down, this is where you wanna to go to your lock screen and always on display. Now, once you're inside of here, go inside of now bar first, since this is something that we just kind of talked about. This is where you just wanna turn on the now bar and then you wanna turn on some of these features. So this way, these would be able to show on both of those two things, always on display and lock screen. There's your clock, that was me showing off that timer. You also have Google Maps, here's your media player, and a whole bunch of other things. So once you have all of that turned on, then you go to your always on display. This is where you can then show that now bar. Now, originally, I think out of the box, maybe this one is turned off, but this is where you're able to turn it on. Now above the now bar, you have a couple other settings. So this is where you're able to either show something for your lock screen or always on display. So I'm gonna have my image show and then you can erase the background. So all that is doing is just, it's the same image being shown on both locations. It just means that it's gonna give me a little bit of an effect having no background to some background. And then you take a look at when you want your always on display to show. You can have it as auto, always as scheduled, tap to show. For a long time, I had mine as tap to show or just turned off. Now for this video, I put it as auto just to kind of play with it. I'm gonna go back into always on display again and see what I think about it. So now that you went through and you had some of those changes made right there, that means now with a couple things that you have done, there is your background that has been blurred out or just blackened. And then when you go into your lock screen, it's gonna open up. Now, the next thing you'll notice is that I am using the same clock for both of these. So then this way, it's not gonna have something jumbled going from here all the way up to over there. So I'm using the same clock in both locations and I'll show you how you can get that done. Also, you can see that I am using that dynamic clock. So this way, when it goes to the lock screen, it is going around my object. So this means it's able to go around a portrait image of a person or also an animal. So how about we now take a look at how your lock screen is set up. So all you'd have to do is go to your lock screen, which is right here. You can do a press and hold. Once you unlock your phone, this is where you're able to make some of these changes. This is where you're able to tap on the wallpaper to change the wallpaper. This is where you can tap on this clock right here that you're able to change the style or also the font. My favorite one is just this one right here. It's the second one in. And then also when it comes down to the font and the color, you wanna choose this secondary option. The one that is moving, the one that is dynamic, that is the one that will curvature around whatever portrait you are using. And then on the bottom, this is where you can just choose which color you would like to use. Now, once you have all of this all set up, you know, you've moved a few things around. You'd also be able to add in some widgets. And so some of the widgets that I like to use is dealing with, you know, what type of moon it is, also the weather, and then also my battery widget. So this is showing me the battery percentage of my ring as well as my watch. And then on the bottom, what you'll have is these two icons. This is where you can tap on these icons and you're able to change what is shown on the bottom left and the bottom right, or even not shown on the bottom left or bottom right, because you can have those set as none if you would like. Now, when you're looking at this display here, you can see that there's a few additional things that I have. I even have this little rotating ring that is up there on the very top, which would go right around my camera. So it's letting me know that it's trying to read my face to unlock the phone. I can tap on this and I can make it whatever color I would like. So I can go from yellow or white. I can have it as red. I had it as red for a while. So this way you'd be able to see it even better. And then I'm gonna head right over here into this color of blue. Now, a lot of what you see here on the screen when it comes down to this right here, which is how you're able to change your animation. So when you unlock your phone, what do you want it to do? So I've got these little ripples. You can use this one. 
and you have that. So I'm gonna go back to that ripple. So if you're looking around my device and you're noticing that there's just a few additional things that is being shown, such as you know this little widget that's right there, which is an additional widget on what was already there from stock to that little circle up over there that's spinning to this right here where I'm able to change the animation of the lock, it's because I am using Lockstar. And then I also just you know brought in this additional widget. This is Perplexity. This is an AI assistant that I'm using and I do actually like it, it's, it's quite fun. But this is where you're able to switch between the two different locations. This is where if you would like to, you can add in uh, app widgets and you can do that for your lock screen as well as the uh, always on display. Now I would only state that if you're gonna do any type of those widgets or even if you're gonna use stickers, just either use it from this screen or this screen. Don't do it from both. Now to make sure that you're always on display and your lock screen clock is being smooth, going through its transitions from one screen to the next screen, this is where you tap on that lock star and then you switch it to the always on display. Now when you go to this always on display screen that is right here, just think of everything just right there. You just only wanna customize this. You wanna go through and you wanna change your font or the style, the color, whatever. So this way it matches what you were using right here on the lock screen. So you might notice that when you were switching between these two, the style might change and come down here. And all I did was I tapped on it, I made it the same and I pushed it up to the corner. You can still see here that there's app widgets and stickers, but just use it from this menu here because when you go through this app widgets and stickers on this little menu here that is smaller for the always on display, it's pretty much the exact same here. So you don't wanna like overlap things. If you're gonna do something with the lock star with any of these things, just do it from this main menu. So that right there is how you're able to make everything work smooth and seamless going between your always on display and the lock screen. Now how to unlock lock star just to show it on your lock screen. It's actually very simple. All you have to do is go inside of your Galaxy Store or the Play Store and you want to download Good Lock. Now once you download Good Lock, you're going to have all of these modules. And this is where you have lock star. Just get this one downloaded and installed. Now what happens is that when you open it from here, it's just going to be the settings right there. It's the same thing just if you were to go into your lock screen settings. So once you have Lockstar installed on your device, you don't have to go back inside of Good Lock to do any type of changes. Uh, all you would have to do is just get this thing locked. You take a look at your lock screen. You do a press and hold, and then you unlock your phone, and then now you're able to edit your lock screen. Now, if for some reason you're not able to press and hold to edit your lock screen, go back inside of your settings scroll down to that lock screen and always on display and make sure that you have this one turned on right there. Touch and hold to edit. Now one thing to share with you with the widgets from the always on display and also the lock screen is that when you're on your lock screen, it only takes one tap to interact with all this. It also allows you to flip through all of these things. When you take a look at your always on display, you will have to do a double tap in order to interact with this. Now here's the thing, if you open this thing up over into your lock screen and you go over into, let's say your music widget, now when you're inside of your always on display, again, this is a double tap for the play and the pause and also for the previous song or the next song. But if you were to do a double tap on the icon, it takes you over into the lock screen. So this way you have a bigger experience to interact right here with that music player. So now that we talked about the always on display settings, we talked about the lock star settings and some of the stuff you can do. Now let's take a look at the other thing you can do with always on display and the lock screen to where they're able to work together and have some really cool animations. And that is where you want to go right back inside of good lock. And then you go to wonderland. Now wonderland, this is where you're able to create different lock screen effects. Now I've got this one right here. This one is pretty cool. It was just a test. It was what I did this morning just to play around with it. Uh, and this is where you can watch this. I'm gonna set it up as my lock screen, but then I'll show you all of the steps that I did to get this done. So everything I just showed you, you know, with that other image is now not there. And so now you're gonna have this one right here. If I was to do my double tap, it's gonna take it over into this other image. So it's a fun way to switch between your always on display image to now your lock screen image. And anything you know you wanna move around, you can move around right there. You can see that both of them are up there on the very top left hand side. So again, I'm gonna press and hold, and then this is where I might want to change this. So I'm gonna go over into the style, and I think I like something like this, but I'm going to make it bigger, and then watch this. So I'm gonna hit on done. Now, once that is done, you can see, this is what I was talking about with the clock, you know, working with each other. So when you go from one to the other, with this one, it's not too bad, because it's completely changing the images. But you have a style that's over here on the top left, going over into this style up there on the top middle. Now, as I mentioned from before, press and hold on it, 
go inside of this and unlock it. Then you go into your lock star. Again, all of these things just work together. Switch it to the always on display. You can see it switched over to this clock style. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one right up over there. So then this way it's going to match up with what we already have. So now when I head over from this one to this one, they are pretty much in uh, the exact same location. So you can see how that clock little edit there is going to help. So now let's go through and let me show you how you're able to get this done. You can do this with one image or two. So you can have it flip flop between the two different images, or you can just have one really cool transition on one image. Now, right there, create your own different lock screen, and then you hit on new. This is where you go to image settings. And then this first image, this is your gallery. And then this is something that you would have from your Galaxy store. So that's where you can select wallpapers. So let's just go through here. I'm gonna select on an image. And what I'll do with this one is let's just say we go with this elephant. Now, if I only go with this one elephant and I don't choose one for always on display, I can just now just do this right here. So I can do ripple, I can do sphere, warp, edge. I can do pixelate. This one's actually not too bad. This is what it looks like when the screen is off. <laughs> so it's pixelated, again, only using one image. And then now when the screen turns on, it's gonna have this, which I think is also a really cool effect. And then you can go to your effects settings. So you can make either the pixels bigger, you can make them smaller. So I think small looks pretty good. You can make this go faster or slower. I think a lot of people really like when you have effects. So slower is a little bit better. And then you're able to go right there and then you can just see what is happening. And when you go to save, you just give it a name. Uh, and then I'm gonna set this one for my lock screen. And I'm not gonna put it over to my home screens because I don't want to. I like this dynamic wallpaper that I have on my, on my home screens already. So now here is the always on display. And then here is your lock screen. A lot of you guys are gonna like that. It's pretty cool. All right, so how about we go back inside and let's make one with two images. So you hit on new, you go to image settings. And then again, I'm gonna go inside of this pictures of my gallery. I'm gonna go with this wagon. And then over here for always on display, uh, I'm gonna switch it up and put it over into these swans. And you can even flip flop them. So if you, have maybe a more personalized image, put it to your lock screen and then your random default one always on display. Cause that just means anybody and everybody is able to look at it at any given point in time. So this right here looks pretty cool. Always on display. I think that'd be a pretty good image for that. Then you go right up here to the effect. And then how do you want them to switch between the couple different images? So you have like an edge one. Here's your blur, which I think the blur is pretty fun. You have some hexagon ones, but the hexagon one, uh, it's gonna have that first image small. So I'm not really a big fan of that one. So I'm gonna go with blur. Uh, and then this is again, just where you can just test it out, right? You can see what it looks like. Then here's all your effects, faster, slower. You can do the intensity, the direction, uh, you know, horizontal or vertical. I think it looks good. Uh, and you just hit on close, you hit on save, you give it a name. So now that you have created it, this is now what it looks like. And you can see that I can maybe go through and I can change up, you know, that clock a little bit. So now I'm gonna set this one as wallpaper, go back to lock screen. Again, I don't want it to go on my home screen. So now you just have several of them that was just created. And then now this is what it looks like. Here's your always on display and here's your lock screen. Now in that preview, it showed off a different clock. That was again, that default clock that I always showed you. Uh, this is just what it looks like here from what I have already created. So now you can see all the different ways you're able to have your always on display and lock screen work together. You can have it to where you have two different images going in at each other. You can have it where it's just one image with a really cool animation, or you can go a little bit more stock and not so much with this wonderland. And then you can just have your wallpapers uh, kind of go from that, that dark to light. And anytime that you make these changes, especially if you're using Lockstar like this, uh, in order for you to put it back to where it was, uh, you would have to go back inside of your wallpapers and then back and choose that one image you would like to use. That is how you get out of that lock star setup between the always on display and lock screen. So this was everything I wanted to share in today's video. This is where you're able to have everything work out together between the normal stock stuff right here when it comes down over into your always on display and the lock screen, but also when you're playing with good lock. Now just remember all the settings that you have when it comes down to the always on display. Once inside of the settings, here's your lock screen and always on display. You go here, then you have a few of these settings here to do out of the box. And then the other two that we talked about will be inside of good lock. Now inside of good lock, the first thing we talked about was lock star because it gives you additional features with the lock screen and you're always on display. And then wonderland to work with this one 
if you would like to add in and change some animations with either one image or two images. So it's actually pretty fun to play with. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out with Samsung One UI 8 with your always on display and a lock screen along with good lock. If you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe, subscribe in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,